Thank you. The member for Dawson. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise today to express the shock I'm in that the Queensland Minister for Transport and Main Roads last week re-announced the $12 million federal contribution and $3 million state contribution to the Bruce Highway Giganga Plains upgrade project. Back in 2018, while I was Mayor of the Whitsunday Regional Council, I successfully secured $12 million, the same $12 million, for flood mitigation at Giganga Plains from the Coalition Government. Now, Deputy Speaker, in the north we have wet seasons. It's not uncommon for flooding to occur. Giganga Plains on the Bruce Highway is renowned to flood almost every year. When Giganga Plains floods, the Bruce Highway is cut and people are cut off from their loved ones, cut off from emergency services, produce can't get to market and food supplies cannot be bought up from the cities. Deputy Speaker, the need to address people being cut off from emergency services and family is extremely urgent. Yet the Queensland Labor government has sat on $12 million worth of federal funding for five years, while the residents of Dawson just continue to suffer through unsafe flooding conditions. Deputy Speaker, this isn't the only funding the Queensland Labor government is sitting on for projects in my electorate. Back in 2019, the Federal Coalition Government committed $29.6 million for Hamilton Plains. When it floods at Hamilton Plains, people in Cannonvale and Ely Beach are cut off from the hospital, cut off from the airport and, of course, schools and businesses are affected. That's why the previous Coalition Government created the Roads of Strategic Importance Initiative to support regional communities and I'm very proud to say that our side understands the importance of keeping people safe on our roads. Unfortunately, our side's hard work and lobbying has been gridlocked by the Palaszczuk Labor government's inability to manage money, the inability to plan and the inability to prioritise the regions over the southeast corner. Deputy Speaker, last week's re-announcement was a very poor attempt at winning over locals who were frustrated at the Palaszczuk Labor government in action. The Premier and her ministers need to realise the people of my electorate, they're not silly, and this does not go unnoticed. I'm once again calling on the Palaszczuk Labor government, stop playing politics, look after our roads, use the money that you've been given by the coalition government and look, make sure that our road safety is a priority. Thank you. 